In my previous video, we were making the, uh, uh, the smaller gear for our gear train. Uh, I did make an error, so I'm going to open up in Sketch 2. And this inside circle, I made 0.5, but that's actually the opening that I'm going to need for my, uh, for my bearing. So I'm going to make this 0.75. Uh, and just I opened up that sketch and made that change there so we can see there. Now I'm going to place that sketch again on this uh, portion of the gear. I need to make that opening for that bearing now. So now I'm going to make this 0.5. And then I'm going to do a removal on this and we're going to remove it all the way through. So I now have this part or gear uh, changed. Now I can come here and I can rename this. Uh, my smaller gear. Uh, I'm going to really quickly just change the color of this so we can see it a little bit more clearly when I do the assembly. Now, uh, I already have some assemblies joined, so I'm going to create a new assembly on this now. Uh, I'm going to create my assembly. I have a new one. And I'm just going to do the large gear to the small gear on this one. So I'm going to open up my uh, parts here. That part that we made in the original one, I'm going to bring in one large gear. I'm using two gears, so I'm going to need two bearings on this one. And I'm going to put that one bearing right at the uh, start point, and I'm going to bring my next gear uh, in on this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, and I'm going to fix this bearing by the uh, Point, meaning it's not going to be able to move. Uh, I'm going to do my uh, revolution mate, the center of my bearing, which is right there, to the center of my gear hole, which I can't quite see from there, so let's reposition it. And there we go, the center of that. And I'm going to green check mark that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do that same revolve mate in the center of my bearing to the center of my gear. Again, I can green, didn't quite get that. Uh, so I'm going to undo that one. And again, I'm going to do the center of my gear here. There we go to the uh, center of my bearing. There we go. And green check mark that. Now again, because this is like gears in space, this isn't gears uh, necessarily uh, attached to something. That's why I'm fixing that uh, first bearing. And then if I look at this, what I'm just doing is moving these so my gears mesh or my gears line up. As we can see here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle this and I can see that they match, probably be a little closer. Uh, and then I'm going to fix this bearing. This wouldn't need to be done if we, uh, again, had this as part of a part with, you know, our bearings being attached or axles going through these. So now I'm going to set my gear relationship. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say my revolve one. To my revolve two. Now this is what we did on the previous one, but you can see my uh, re uh, relationship ratio. The amount or the diameter of this one is half of or the, twice as much as this one. So that means I have a two to one ratio. So I'm going to change this to two here in the relationship. Now as you're going to see, I'm going to come to my revolute one. I'm going to animate this. Uh, I'm going to do it as a loop so it continues, and then I'm going to press play. What you're going to notice is my second gear is spinning twice as fast, and the reason it's doing so is because of that relationship that I've set, and it's spinning that opposite direction. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how we can add another gear to this to do a simple gear train with idler.